Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Biology and today we are continuing our study on the animal uh, uh, kingdom of course and today we are looking at the phylum molluscans. The phylum molluscas. Okay? Of course, do not forget that this video tutorial is brought to you by the one and only O3 School Jam app, which is all you need to succeed in your examination. Please download that app from Play Store today, activate it, and we'll start practicing your way to success. All right, I'll tell you more about the app as we continue. But today, let's talk about what? The phylum mollusca. And of course, the mollusk is the second largest phylum of the invertebrates. The second larger phylum of the invertebrate. No, the animal kingdom divided into the vertebrates and invertebrates. All right. So the phylum uh, mollusca, they are the what the second largest phylum of the invertebrates. Animals belonging to this phylum, they have soft bodies. They have soft bodies, and they are triploblastic. They are what triploblastic in the sense that what they have three cell layers or three gem layer like the ectoderm, the endoderm, and the mesoderm. All right. Now, apart from this, apart from having soft bodies and being uh, 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 triploblastic, it is very important to know that some people actually study this phylum. So some people go to school. Like I can imagine you watching this video now, going to school to study molluscas, to go and study the mollusks. They now become a mollue. No. It's not called mollusks. <laughs> they are called what? Macologists. Okay. So the study of mollusks, of mollusca, is called what? Ma Malacology. Sorry. Malacology. Okay. It's called malacology. The study of mollusks is called malacology. Okay. So people actually go to what to study what mollusk. Okay. Because you can, you can see that the second largest phylum in the world in the animal in the in the invertebrate. Okay. Of the animal kingdom. Okay. So people who study uh, mollusks they are called what malacologists. Okay. They are very sluggish invertebrates. They are sluggish, very sluggish, very slow. You have seen snail before. It's very slow. It's very, very, very slow. They are very, very what? Sluggish what? Uh, uh, invertebrates. And they have a thin, fleshy uh, mantle covering their viscera mass or their viscera organs. They have what? A very thin, fleshy what? Mantle covering their what? Their viscera what? Mass or their viscera organs. You know what viscera organs are, right? Viscera organs are... That is viscera... If viscera organs are what are those soft organs in the body, all right. Uh, for example, you have what the heart, you have what the lungs, those are viscera organs. Like, of course, the organs in the in the abdomen, like of course, you have your, your pancreas, you have your liver, okay, you have your intestines, those one they are viscera organs. Okay, so they have what a very, very what thin, a thin fleshy envelope or mantle covering what the viscera what organs. Okay, so they include the gastropods. As you can see here, e.g., the gastropods, e.g., the snails and the slugs. So the snail is a gastropod. Okay, they include what the gastropods, e.g., the snails and the slugs, which are the most numerous. Now them plenty pass the gastropods. Now them plenty pass the snails and the slugs, which are the most numerous. And then the cephalopods. E.g. the squid. Okay, I'm sure I've seen squid in television before. Okay, the cuttlefish. Okay, the octopus. Okay, all these ones that were that the cephalopods. Then we have what a special breed again called the bivalves. B a v a l v e s. Okay, examples of the bivalves are the scallops and the oysters. Okay, these bivalves are very very what's useful as what well, as bio indicator. They they are used to what to test how um how um. Uh, polluted our environment is okay. Okay, they just want to test how contaminated an environment is. This bivalves this species they are used as bio indicators. They used to work to test how contaminated an environment what is okay. So these are many more are uh, what you should know what about what the mollusks. Okay, now let us see the characteristics of what of the mollusks. Number one, they are silomates. You know what silomates means? That means they have true body cavity. They have true body cavity they have true body cavity so they are what they are silomates okay now they are bilaterally symmetrical okay this means that what that the body can be cut into in one plane into two identical halves okay it seems like in the last I'm trying to remember now. Since like in the last episode, I said bilateral, bilateral, uh, bilateral symmetry is where you can cut an organism into what 
in, in any plane or angle to give or to identify us. No, please, in case I said that, I'm trying to correct it now. In case I said that, I'm not quite sure. But radial symmetry, you know, different between radial symmetry and bilateral symmetry. For radial symmetry, you can cut the organism into in any plane in any plane or angle into two identical halves in any plane or angle into two identical halves but for bilateral you cut in only one plane only one plane to give two identical halves please take note of that all right so now their body is usually covered by man two or cavity okay that is the cavity that would that protect what the visceral organs that we've talked about okay so now respiration is carried out by the gills or the lungs in the mantle cavity okay respiration is carried out by the gills you must take note of this or what the lungs they are one of the they have the one of the pre, most most primitive respiratory world system okay respiration is carried out by the gills or lungs in the mantle cavity by the gills or the lung in the mantle cavity also they carry have what uh, they carry out excretion by what you call it use what the metal they have a pair of metan uh, metanephrida meta Nephrida. Okay, they have a pair of metanephridia that they use for what for excretion purposes. Okay, so for excretion, they use they have this sort of metanephridium or um, a pair of metanephridia to what to for what for excretion. All right, now molluscs reproduce sexually and sexes are separate. Okay, molluscs reproduce sexually and sexes are what are separate. And of course, some species of molluscs are actually hermaphrodites. So just know that some species are hermaphrodites. All right. So now let's look at the structure of the uh, land snail. The snail's body consists of five main parts. The snail's body, the one you see, the igile. Some of you, the native name, they are calling igile. I don't know. Okay, I think maybe it's beneath people that call it igile. Uh, I don't know what to call it in your place. The snails, the snail that you eat. The snail's body consists of five main parts. You have the head. You have the neck. We have the visceral mass, all right, or the visceral hump, okay? Then we have the tail, and then we have the foot. The foot is actually for what? For locomotion, okay, to move from one place to another. Now, the snail is covered by, the, by a shell secreted by the mantle. The snail is covered by the shell, by a shell secreted by the mantle. So that shell that covers that snail is secreted by the what? By the mantle. Okay? It's secreted by the mantle. Take note of that. I think this is a jam pass question. The snail is covered by a shell secreted by the mantle. And the visceral mass is always contained within the shell. The visceral mass is always what contained within the what? The shell. Okay? So now, we have seen a lot about the word, the molluscs. I've told you the word, a mode of what? Excretion. Even it had naturally stated here uh, explicitly. So take note of it. They have what? A pair of meta metanephridia that they use what? For excretion. Okay? But they also have what? Um, what you call os osphredia. They also have what? Osphredia. Okay, this osphredia is for them to test the chemical nature of water. Okay, so they actually have to take out, take take, uh, take in uh, clean clean water. All right, so when the water is what is, 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 is the chemical nature is high, or basically maybe it has what particles, too many particles. So this one, uh, the os osphredia is what they use the word to detect, to test the chemical nature of what of water and to remove particles. Okay, in the what in the water, and then of course we sometimes we say snails. Snails have have a myogenic heart. They have a myogenic heart. Okay, you know what difference between neurogenic, neurogenic, and myogenic is, isn't it? So for neurogenic, is the difference is only in their in the cardiac heart movement. Okay, for neurogenic heart, heart, okay, the cardiac movement is actually initiated by a nerve arising from the brain. The cardiac movement is initiated by a nerve arising from the brain. Okay, why for myogenic heart? Which you have in the snails, the cardiac movement is actually what initiated rhythmic, rhythmically, rhythmically by the cardiac muscles themselves. Okay, so we see what snails they have what a myogenic heart. All right, so this is what uh, we need to know about what the uh, uh, the uh, the phylum what mollusca. Okay, it's very pertinent. Questions come from phylum mollusca, so you must what make sure that you what you have studied to show yourself approved. You must study, you must keep studying. Okay, see, from now to the end of your jam, 
the only thing, the only business you, you should have is what is studies. I know some of you are very busy, but please, you have to try. You have to try as much as possible to study. Now, I want to go to the O3 School Jump app. Like I told you, it is all you need to study, succeed in your exam. It has all the past questions that you ever need. It has some wonderful feature like, of course, we have the classroom feature where you can what? Uh, you can study what uh, lecture notes according to the jam syllabus and take tests. You have the question side feature. You can solve a question according to topics. And the question that Jamba said, on that, that particular topic will come out for you to answer. Likewise, we also have what do you tell me challenge, a bomb, the challenge that will conduct for all students that are participating in jam for a particular year. You compete with your mates, you win prizes, you see, you get used to ask jam, set that question, you build your confidence toward the main exam, and of course, you'll be able to track your progress because every week, after every week challenge, that challenge hosts 10 a.m. every morning on Saturday. So after every week's challenge, we will what? Uh, definitely be able to what? To release your result. We release your result every week. Every week. So if you score 200 today, the next challenge you score uh, 220, the next challenge you score 250, you know that we are progressing. But if you are coming down, you know you'll be able to work to gauge your progress. And usually, usually we have seen that what the average score you have in the challenges will conduct for you before the main exam is usually what you got to score in jam. So please practice, you must practice. So let's go to the app now. Let's see some what some questions. Okay, so I have my my phone and I have the application in my hand. All right, so this is uh, 2015 question number one. 2015 question number one. They say, which of the following has the most primitive respiratory system? Like I told you, snails have the, the most primitive. I, I, I think I talk about when I talk about respiration. Okay, so you no know, snails, they live what, in most places. They can even breathe in and uh, breathe in hair and uh, breathe in and out of hair. Uh, using the words using from what from their moist skin okay so they have what the gills they have the lungs okay all right they also, have, they also use their body surfaces for respiration so snails have snakes have what, the most primitive what a respiratory system a they said insects okay of course it's not insect because insects have what structure for what for respiration they say fish of course fish use what gills okay they say snail which is what's correct and there's the same mouse mouse what uses what the lungs okay but the snail uses the lungs this is what the the gills it uses the body surfaces okay this is more skin for respiration and so on and so forth now let's see another question a 1998 question now number four they said in snails in snails the hard carceral cells are secreted the hard those shells okay the hard carceral cells are what secreted uh uh secreted are the hard carceral cells are secreted by the a they said adula well said it they said the snail is covered by the shell secreted by the mantle okay by the mantle so by the mantle see by the mantle so it's very very clear here okay so uh uh so the correct answer that we got would be okay a they say radula b tenidium c new new most and d mantle correct answer there is what is mantle okay so please get this app download it activate it activation is just three thousand naira. once you download the app click on activate at the top, you see where the road buy activation key. You see the options for your payment. You can transfer to the O3 Schools app account, okay? Or you can uh, uh, you can use the ATM card to pay online. That one is automatic. What activation? Activation fee just three thousand naira. As at the time of talking to you right now, it will increase in the future. So go and pass away. I charge you today. Pass your exam at once. I will see you in the next episode when we talk about another phylum of the animal kingdom. See you in that class.